Heavenly Father, we thank you for giving us this day to do as the psalmist exhorts us to rejoice and be glad. We are indeed happy and rejoicing as we gather here today to celebrate this momentous occasion, the graduation of the class of 2020. Lord, may it be a time of great fellowship and fun for all of us, students and teachers, as well as friends and family. It was because of your grace and mercy that we were able to come forth as gold after we have been tried and tested like no other class before by the pandemic which caused so many changes in our lives. Lord, we invite your presence in and amongst us. We ask your blessings on the proceedings and all who will assemble to view it at a later date. I pray for all who will participate in the program today. I pray that you grant them courage and inspiration as they gather, as they, grant, as they share with us what you have placed on their hearts. Continue to keep us safe from the threat of this virus. These and other mercies we ask in your name. Amen. Mrs. Patricia Baptist Phillip, guest speaker, principal Jacinta Athel, deputy principal Suzette Smith, teachers, parents, siblings, loved ones, and most importantly, my fellow graduates. Students, a pleasant good morning to all. On behalf of the class of 2020, it is my pleasure to have been the one chosen to extend words of welcome to this very special occasion the very first virtual graduation of Potters Primary School. Thank you to everyone gathered here today to witness and to celebrate this special occasion with the class of 2020. I believe you all have played a major role in shaping each of us into the person that we are today and guiding us along the way. For this and much more, we are grateful. On behalf of the school's administration, I am pleased to extend warm regards and welcome to all those of you that are taking the time from your busy schedule to view the graduation ceremony. I want at this time to acknowledge Mrs. Patricia Baptist Phillip, the guest speaker for today. We look forward to your delib deliberations later on in the program. Special welcome is also extended to some special persons who have helped and supported us along the way, our teachers, parents, and families. Thank you for the countless ways you supported us throughout the years, but even more so this year when we had to resort to remote learning due to the pandemic. Finally, permit me to welcome those whose success we are celebrating today, the stars of today's event, the graduating class of 2020. Graduates, we had our grade six year turned upside down by the pandemic. It robbed us from so much, but through it all, we remain committed and resilient. While we cannot have this ceremony in its customary format, I encourage you to be to bask in the glory of today. This important milestones of our lives, it is because of our hard work and perseverance that we can celebrate here today as proud products of this school has molded us on the primary phase of our educational journey. I hope that as we celebrate our achievements, each of us will experience the same joy and pride as the, hundred, as the hundreds of other graduates who have passed through the school's long history. Once again, welcome and best wishes to everyone. Happy viewing. Class of 2020, parents, friends, and well-wishers, good day to all. At this time, I bring you greetings from our education officer, Mrs. Alvise Burton. She wishes to extend congratulations to the class of 2020. The year 2019-2020 will be long remembered by all of us. The school year started out normally as 38 students from grade five moved to the comfortable classroom environs that the former grade six students had worked so hard to renovate the year before as part of their social studies SBA. 
Know that your star and shine where you are was selected as the rallying call for the year and you were encouraged to shine in all things. Many of you did just that as you buckled down to work with your hardworking and committed teachers, Ms. Nadine Hines, Mrs. Janiel Samuel Joseph, and Mrs. Kishma Hector Daniels. However, that was not to last, as by the start of the second term, news about a virus that was affecting the world began to reach us. Out of concern for the students and school personnel, in mid-March, the Ministry of Education mandated that all schools close and move through immediately to remote learning. Being a novel territory, I am sure that you all experienced much trepidation as you tried to grapple and adjust to this new format. Your parents were forced to become instant surrogate teachers as your homes were turned into classrooms. Google Classroom, WhatsApp, and learning packages became the new normal for both you and your teachers. Then came the message that the grade six national assessment would not take place for the first time in years. Many of you expressed disappointment as with this new development, with this new development, as you would have spent many years diligently preparing for this exam. However, through it all, you, sol you soldiered on, and here we are today to celebrate your achievements. I know that this is not the type of graduation you envisioned for yourself when you thought of what the day would be like. However, we could not allow COVID and all of its challenges to rob you totally of this day that many of you have dreamed of. You have worked hard to get to where you are today, so do enjoy all that the day has to offer. Sadly, graduates, your sojourn with us at Potter's Primary has come to an end. As you leave the doors of this great institution to elsewhere take your stand, I entreat you to hold fast to the values and standards inculcated in you by both your parents and the school. Continue to be the shining stars we know you can be by showing care and concern for others, having respect for yourself, others and the environment, interacting cooperatively with your new principal, teachers and classmates, knowing that you always need to be prepared and by exhibiting responsible behavior at all times. Once again, congratulations class of 2020. May God continue to bless you and direct your path. Class of 2019-2020. This day took a long time in coming. There were many obstacles, for example, COVID-19 restrictions and having to wait for all of the necessary measures to be put in place so that this virtual graduation could take place. Nevertheless, your special moment has finally arrived. The waiting experience, however, highlighted three important P's that you should carry with you throughout life. The first P, patience. Patience in recognizing that your dreams, your expectations and hopes might not always come through when you want them to. Some of them take time. So do not give up on your dreams. Keep fighting to make them come to pass and be patient as you engage in the fight. The second P, prayer, is quite simple. Each one of us should see God in the big situations and in the little ones too. Remember, God loves you and wants to help you with every and any situation. So always take your cares to Him. The third and final P, Patty. Patty means having good, clean fun 
and celebrating all of the special moments that God has allowed you to shine. So although you cannot go out today as a group, you can each dance as you hold your certificate in your hand. You can turn it up a little later this evening in your house with your family. What am I saying? I am saying enjoy this moment. Celebrate it. Give thanks to God for it. In closing, I thank God for each of you from the class of 2019-2020. I wish you well. And as one writer pens, may your dreams take you to the corners of your smiles, to the highest of your hopes, to the windows of your opportunities, and to the most special places your hearts have ever known. Class of 2019-2020, you have made it. Congratulations on your super special day. To the class of 2020. For several years we've watched you grow as proud as we can be. Crawling, walking, one, two, three, and all your ABCs. Through the awkward years and intense debate to a young adolescent become. Now you all face it a pandemic that none of us have faced. To the class of 2020, our hearts go out to you. We can't begin to even know the heartache you've been through. You run the race, you finish strong, even though it may not seem. So raise your heads and tip your caps and go and chase your dreams. We are all in this together. I've heard so many times. I know it may not seem that way, but it's more than just a lie. You've got your back, we're on your side, hang in there, we'll get through. And when it is all over, you'll get your payment due. To the class of 2020, our hearts go out to you. We can't begin to even know the heartache you've been through. You've run the race, you finished strong, even though it may not seem. So raise your heads and tip your caps and go and chase your dreams. Oh, class of 2020. Oh, class of 2020. Class of 2020. Go and chase your dreams. Mrs. Patricia Baptist Phillip can only be described in one way, a true friend to Potter's Primary School. She is one of the many students who have been nurtured and molded within the hollowed walls of this institution and sent forth to make a meaningful contribution to the society. This is indeed what she does daily. Mrs. Phillip is currently employed with the Ministry of Health. Despite her busy schedule there, she is she still finds the time to be actively engaged in her church and the Potter's community. Over the last few years, Mrs. Phillip has made a numerous contribution to the school, some of it at great personal cost to herself. We only have to reach out to her and once she is able to, she is going to assist. When asked to deliver the charge to this year's graduation class, she readily accepted. Graduate. It gives me great pleasure to present to you Mrs. Patricia Baptist Phillips to deliver the charge to you. I deem it a great honor and a humbling privilege to be asked to deliver the charge to you, the graduates of class 2020 of the Potter's Primary School. I am a proud graduate of this institution, 1984. Good day, graduate, good graduation day to you, the graduates. I offer my most sincere congratulations to each of you. My special congratulations extend also to your parents, guardians, families, and friends. They too share in your noble achievement. And likewise, I congratulate the staff who gave you knowledge and support 
walking beside you on the road to this great moment. It is a proud day for them as well. Graduates, in taking on the demands of education and succeeding thus far, you have accomplished something difficult but worthwhile, something that will stand with you in good stead throughout your lives. By completing this leg of your journey is testament to your tenacity to go all the way. This chapter of your life is now in the past. I encourage you to be the sole author of your story. You decide how, when, and where it will end. As you reach for the stars, I impress upon you to let go the negatives in your life. The self-doubt, self-pity, low self-esteem, tardiness, and bad attitudes and behaviors, and to cultivate a stairway of positives. This will surely make all the difference as to your outcomes. It is my privilege to offer you a few thoughts as you depart this place. I understand deeply and respect your abilities and would like you to focus on the global challenge, the dreaded COVID-19 pandemic. I know that all of you have the power to make important future contributions that would improve lives on a grand scale because when the stakes are extremely high, then you must rise to the occasion. The moments may take the form of a crisis or of a window of opportunity that opens unexpectedly, inviting you down a new path with greater responsibilities. If you have the courage, choose it, and I know you have. Many years of preparation, hard work, and experience can be tested in an instant. I encourage you to build on the strengths and work to improve on your weak areas. Do not brush aside your weaknesses aside or become defensive when they are brought to your attention. Accept constructive criticisms and improve on the areas need improvement. Work persistently on your personal development. This is a conscious, continued process of building your self-awareness, your identity, and unleashing your potential. Potter's students have already experienced such moments of truth. It does not matter how you arrive at those moments when, you, when superhuman challenge, intelligence, courage, and endurance seems to be required, whether you are there by intent or by chance. All of us face a challenge in our lives. Times when we simply cannot disappoint our families, our partners, our employees, our country, or all of humanity. So, as you leave these hallowed walls and all your friends for future studies, I sincerely hope that you will continue to develop the character that will allow you to act with great honor and discipline, whether in a crisis or in an instant of opportunity. And if in such moments you worry that you may not be able to live up to your expectations or what others expect of you, I hope you remember that you have a solid Potter School educational foundation. You have a great deal and yes, you can do it. A famous motivational speaker, Les Brown said, you have to be hungry to achieve your goals. You have to be hungry to withstand any obstacles that are thrown your way. You have to be hungry and have strong tenacity to reach your full potential. Graduates, you have achieved much. You have grown in multiple dimensions. Be confident, be bold, be compassionate, be healthy, stay focused, and reach for your stars. Once again, congratulations.
today is our day as, as it signifies the end of one chapter of our life and the beginning of another. Madam Principal Ms. Jacinta Athill, Deputy Principal Ms. Suzette Smith, teachers, parents, administrators, friends, my co-graduates of 2020, ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon and welcome to the Potters Primary School graduation 2020. It is a great privilege for me to be here in front of you as the valedictorian of the graduating class of 2020 as we all celebrate the accomplishments in our lives. <clears throat> Though it is often said people only remember the first day and forget the rest, I am sure that this is not so for us. While most of us started from kindergarten as strangers, we are now ending as family and I believe that we will all remember every moment of our journey over the last seven years and will take many memories with us. Graduates, I am sure that you can agree with me when I say that lunchtime was the highlight of our day because that would be the time we had the most fun. We would all play together running around the building, playing freezer and football around us, just to name a few. As a matter of fact, I believe that some of us could not wait for our parents to drop us off at school. Simp to simply put it, we had fun. However, school was not all about playing. This great school of Potters Primary has equipped us all with adequate knowledge and skills in preparation for the next chapter of our lives, high school. Our alma mater, steadfast and sure, we strive to achieve. Graduates, we are an example of our motto. My co-graduates, our first step in education has been successful. We did it. To our parents, thank you for your patience and dedication throughout our school life. Your supports are effortless guidance. Special thanks to my mom and dad, Nerissa Pellin and Kosi Barnes for being there for me. Of course, we would not have been able to reach this stage without the people who have helped us along the way. You have given your support and guidance without any reservations or expecting anything in return. Each and every one of you is special. On behalf of the graduates, I would like to thank the following. Our principals and great leaders of our school, Ms. Jacinta Attil, Deputy Principal Ms. Suzette Smith, our kindergarten teachers, Mrs. Jarvis and Ms. Payne, our grade one teachers, Ms. Prince and Mrs. Hector Daniel, our grade two teachers, Mrs. Samuel Joseph and Ms. Aubrey, our grade three teachers, Mrs. Defoe and Ms. Constant, our grade four teachers, Ms. West and Mrs. Hector Daniel, our grade five teachers, Ms. Ms. Brown, Mrs. Samuel Joseph and Mr. Smith, our grade six teachers, Mrs. Samuel Joseph, Ms. Mrs. Hector Daniel and Ms. Hines, our IT teacher, Ms. Hampson, our PE teacher, Mr. Philip, our visual arts teacher, Ms. Nikio, our Spanish teachers, Ms. Joseph and Mr. Philip, our HFLE teacher, Ms. Monroe, our agriculture teacher, Ms. Roberts, our secretary, Ms. White, our school groundsman, Mr. Arnold Joseph and Mr. Honoré, our school custodians, Ms. Simmons, Ms. Wasia and Ms. Margaret, our school vendors, Ms. Doreen, Ms. Tasha and Auntie Slim. We say a hearty thank you to you all. As we leave here today, we will celebrate what we have accomplished and look forward to building a stronger foundation in high school. To my co-graduates, congrat congratulations to us all. We are now at the point of the graduation that we all look forward to the presentation of prizes and certificates. I will now call the names of the students. Jashana Appleton. Jade August. Jalil Atil. He receives a trophy for being most helpful. Hannah Akalazu. She gets a trophy for second place in mathematics, third place in social studies, and for participation in school activities. Rodria Brown receives a sportsmanship award for athletics and a gift for doing well in mathematics. David Williams. Kiana Chester. Kiana receives a prize for doing very well in mathematics as well. 
Katie D'Souza. She receives a prize for improved performance in mathematics. Jerobi Appleton. He receives a trophy for third place in science. Renika Marquis. Tikia Samuel, and she receives a prize for improved performance in social studies. Kimon Francis. Kimon was the most improved male student. Estacy Ramon. Scarlett Ramon. Derek Maynard. Ashaya Warren. Kendall Xavier. He receives the Sportsmanship Award for Football and Athletics. Jake Juan Jarvis receives the Sportsmanship Award for Football. Jaheel Lewis, he receives the Sportsmanship Award for Cricket. Jaquel Joseph, he receives a trophy for improved behavior and fencing. Dashane White. Janaika Joseph. Janaika receives a trophy for second place in language, third place in mathematics, third place in science, first place in social studies. She also receives the media and communication trophy, the top female student trophy, and the School Spirit Award for her involvement in school activities. Malisha Williams. She receives a trophy for being very helpful. And Corey Banks. And Corey receives a trophy for third place in language, first place in math, first place in science, second place in social studies. In addition, he receives a trophy for being the top male student. He also receives the Honorable Dean Jonas plaque for outstanding performance in mathematics and a plaque for being the most outstanding academic student in 2019-2020. Kiara Jack. She receives a trophy for third place in social studies a trophy for participation in school activities. Ciara Isaacs. Ariella Lewis. Janelle Charles. She receives a trophy for third place in social studies and the Perseverance Trophy for never giving up and remaining positive despite her health issues having battled with cancer and survived. Gabrielle Cowan. She receives a trophy for being helpful and participating. Jatiga Lewis. Zoe Lewis. She receives a trophy for first place in language, third place in mathematics, second place in science. Oriana John Baptist. She receives a trophy for being a consistent worker across all of the subject areas. And last but no means least, Zaid Lewis. Congratulations once again to the class of 2020.
Each year when we host our graduation ceremony, there is always some group that is always willing mm -hmm. and ready to look out for our students. And this year is no exception. So this year, the Potter's Connection, a group that is really very active in the Potter's community, decided to sponsor one of our students, the one who was deemed the most community-oriented student. When I asked the teachers who in their estimation would fit such a criteria, overwhelmingly, the teachers all said, Kiara Jack, and so Miss Heidi Baptist Philip is here this morning to present this award to Kiara on behalf of that particular group. Congratulations, Kiara, from the members of the Potter's Connection and Pinho that you will continue to be an example in your community. Congratulations. Blessed good afternoon to each and every one. Let us pray. Father and our Lord, we give you glory, honor, and praise. We thank you for today. We thank you for this momentous occasion. Lord God, as we bring the graduates before you, we pray that you bless them. We ask that you keep your hands of protection over them. Father God, guide their steps on the days ahead as they embark on this new journey before them. May they be reminded of your word in Jeremiah 29, 11, that you know the plans that you have for each and every one of them. Plans to prosper them and not to harm them. Plans to give them hope and a future. Father God, grant them wisdom to make wise decisions according to your will. May the road before them be paved with joyous opportunities that brings you honor and glory. Father, we thank you. We give you all the praise, the glory, the honor that you deserve. Bless them, dear Lord. We ask this all in no other name, but in Jesus' name, amen and amen. As we come to the end of today's exercise, the first ever virtual graduation ceremony for the Potters Primary School, it is my pleasure to deliver the vote of thanks to all who have helped make this event such a success. First of all, thanks to the Almighty for keeping us and our families safe throughout this pandemic. We also thank him for giving us the resilience and perseverance that allowed us to continue to work hard even when we had to be away from our teachers and friends. It was not easy but we did it and we are so proud of ourselves. We also want to thank him for bringing us all safely to this ceremony today and for ensuring that all went as well as it did. Thank you Ms. Attil for your report on some of the activities throughout our year in grade 6. It really brought back some good memories. Thanks as well for the congratulatory message from the deputy, Ms. Smith, to the guest speaker, Mr. Heidi Baptist Philip. Thank you for your enlightening and provoking word address. Sorry. We, the graduates, will endeavor to heed your words. We promise that we will continue to reach for the stars. Special thanks to all who participated in today's activities. Those who played the pan and both God's presence welcomed us, danced, recited, or sang. Thanks for a job well done. To Encore Barnes, thank you for delivering the valedictorian address. May you continue to excel in your journey through secondary school. To all of the parents and teachers, thank you for the way in which you supported us through the remote learning process. Our success today is due largely to your support. As the pandemic forced us to all to cooperate in an area that we were not accustomed to, 
We would not be the success we are today without you in our corner. To all of the graduates, congratulations to you. We are very proud of your accomplishment. I wish all of you God's richest blessings and every success as you continue the secondary phase of your educational journey. We are grateful to the platinum sponsor of today's graduation exercise, the Antigua and Barbuda Transport Board. Thank you for your usual generosity. Even in these challenging economic times, you did not waver in your usual support. May God continue to richly bless and prosper the organization. To teacher Mrs. Warner, we thank you for praying for the graduates. Do continue to hold up the Lord daily because we are going to need His help now more than ever before. As we take on the challenges of secondary school, finally an event of this dimension could not happen overnight. It requires much planning. Thanks therefore to the organizing committee who have worked with great dedication to make this program a reality. Now, to ensure that I've included everyone, let me say a final thank you to all those of you who would have participated in any way. Without all of you today, would not have been such a success. Thanks to one and all. Sometimes life just bring you to your knees. And sometimes life just bring you everything you need. But you have to learn how to roll with the punches. You have to learn how to stand firm in your place. You have to learn how to speak to your mountains Tell them to move out your way Move Cause my blessings you can't stop it And you can try all you want to, you can't block it My foundation fell